from the official television station of Illini Sports. This is WCIA 3 Sports and your Illini Nation. Kofi Coburn and Andre Curbelo both out tonight against 10th ranked Michigan State. Coburn still in concussion protocol. Curbelo in health and safety protocol. That's updated information we had not known until today. First place in the Big Ten in the balance against the Michigan State Spartans who start the night with a half game lead in the league. Not enough driving the basket Friday in Maryland. Trent Frazier looking to change that. He takes it personally. Goes up and under on the drive to put Illinois up two. They take a six-point lead on Trent Frazier's heater three. He makes back-to-back -back triples. He's got ten straight Illini points. Ten points in the first half for Frazier. Then great pace by Sparty as they get up and down the court. Gabe Brown throws down the jam. Ten for him in the game. Illinois still up eight. Here comes the Illini with a response. Frazier lobs to Omar Payne. 34-20, Illinois looking great at the half. Io DeSumo in the house as well. And Frazier once again showing off. Driving, gives the nifty pass to Benjamin Bossman's Verdonk, who gets the basket. He finishes eight for BBB in the game, who got the start. Michigan State tries to claw back into the game. A.J. Hoggard spins, drives to and lobs to Marcus Bingham, who throws it down. Bingham led the Spartans with 13 points. But the Illini staying hot from three, and it's freshman Luke Goody with a step-back contested shot. He connects three for four from beyond the arc for him on the night. And then with Payne and Bossman's Verdonk both sitting with foul trouble, Frazier having to create himself the nifty split of the defenders. Alfonso Plummer starts to find his groove as well, nails the big three, 11 for him in the game. But Michigan State storms all the way back. Malik Hall gets a friendly roll at the end of the shot clock with less than a minute to go to bring them within two. And after Trent Frazier misses the front end of a one and one, a foul on the Illini sending Hall to the line, but he misses the front end of his one and one free throws with 0.2 seconds left. And that is the ball game. Illinois somehow hangs on to survive. 56-55 the final. Illinois takes down Michigan State, moving them into sole possession of first place in the Big Ten. Now a half game ahead of Sparty. Here's WCI 3's Andy Olson with more from State Farm Center. Illinois has already split four games this season when they found themselves without Kofi Coburn. With him still in concussion protocols against Michigan State, they also had to find a way without Andre Curbelo, who found himself in health and safety protocols. Yet the underdogs led almost wire to wire and pulled off the upset in a game that boils down to two words, culture win. Who gave us a chance? Who would have thought? When you got character and you got guys with, 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 uh, that are together, you can, you can do a lot of things. Having guys out that, you know, are key pieces, uh, knowing we could win, you know, without them, you know, don't matter the circumstances. You know, like you said, God, he's always ready to go and, you know, ready to step up and, you know, make plays for this team. With two big names out, the Illini relied on their depth with Benjamin Bossman's Verdonk and Omar Payne combining for 15 points in place of Coburn. The biggest contributor off the bench ended up being freshman Luke Goody, who had a career high in minutes with 28 and points with nine all against a team that also recruited him in Michigan State. He's on the scout team. He doesn't run our plays a lot usually. He's running the, what, what the opponent does. And um, yet, he's cerebral. He's tougher than heck. You go through the game refs and you go through the warm-up just getting ready for your opportunity. And Coach has a lot of faith in me. Um, my teammates have a lot of faith in me. And, you know, when the ball comes to me, I was ready to go tonight. With the win, Illinois moves a half game in front of Michigan State and Wisconsin for the lead in the Big Ten. Now the attention turns to Northwestern on Saturday, the only other team to beat the Spartans in conference this season. Reporting for your Illini Nation, Andy Olson, WCIA 3 Sports. If you want more Illini coverage, watch head coach Brown Underwood's full post-game press conference. We've got the Illini players on there as well. It's on demand on our digital channels right now, social media channels as well, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And our WCI 3-in-1 podcast going up here shortly on your favorite pod player. Andy and I break down what we saw from the game. He was courtside. It'll be there in time for your morning commute. Good night for the Illini who get their best win of the season. This is the biggest one so far. We'll see where they go from here. All right, Brett, thanks. We'll be right back.